Hello, Edwin Antonio. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight, Edwin? I'm good, teacher. How about you? I'm very well. Thanks for asking me. Is it raining in the place where you live, Edwin Antonio? Yes, here is raining tonight. Ah, okay, great. So I hope that we don't have any problem right during this virtual session because it is raining a lot in many places, right? Here in El Salvador tonight. Yes. Yes, I hope that too. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you. How was your day, Edwin? Edwin, how was your day? Was it great, busy? So, uh, they are uh, worried, but I uh, work. But sometimes in the morning, in the morning, I have a meeting with the client. But all good the rest of the day. Okay, that's great. Nice. So tonight is a Thursday, right? And okay, give me a second. Some of your class may have some problems to enter again to this virtual session. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Christian. Good evening. Hello, what you mean? Come on, teacher. How are you? Carlos Vladimir, welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight, guys? Uh, I have my certificate, teacher. I oh, finished have... my homework. Congratulations. That is a very good news. That's great. So you have already finished the platform. Nice. Thank How you, was the final exam? How was the final exam? Was it easy or difficult? Yes. I took I took question very difficult. Ah, okay. You, you found yes. the question that were very difficult. Okay, we can discuss those questions, okay? So don't worry about that. And what about you guys? Did you finish the section number three and the meter exam? Yes, the sure I finished. Okay, congratulations, Francisco Daniel. And uh, Admin, finish the section three and the meter exam. Yes, the sure. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. And Christian Lorena, did you finish? Yes, I already finished. That's perfect too. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Oh, she said she is driving. Let me see. Let me read the message. No, it's Christy. Okay, let us start with tonight's class, right? Tonight we are going to start taking a look at the meter exam on the platform. So here we go. How was the meter exam? Was it easy, difficult, average? Como sintieron este examen? Yeah, second and trying to find it. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is section number one. It was a listen part. So listen to the conversation. Listen, Peter, I'm talking about vacation. Listen and check the correct answer. What were the answer? Lisa visited. Do you remember about the answers? Australia. Australia. Okay, nice. How was the weather? How was the weather? Bad. Good, okay, or bad? Carlos Vladimir say bad. Let's see the next one. Peter visited Indonesia, India, Italy. Which place? Italy. Okay, so we click on Italy here. And uh, how was the weather in Italy? Good, okay, or bad? Good. 
Okay. It was okay. Okay, let's click on it. And yes, you are right. That's great. Now, how is the weather tonight? How is the weather tonight? That is a question for you. How is the weather tonight? It's okay. It's okay. Nice. In the place you need, it's okay. How do you say you're also in English? Rainy. Okay, excellent. Rainy. So tonight is rainy. And let's see, how do you say helado? Ice cream. Cold. Oh, oh the weather, the weather. Yes, you're right. Uh, cold. Cold. Thank you, Francisco. How do you say nublado? Cloudy. Excellent. Cloudy. Very good. Y soleado? Sunny. Sunny. Okay. What is your favorite weather? What is your favorite weather? Cold and rainy. Cold and rainy. Any other answer? What is your favorite weather? Anybody? Let's choose somebody here. Let's see. Carlos Vladimir, what is your favorite weather? Uh, please, can you help me? Uh, what is weather? Oh, weather is el clima. ¿Cuál es su clima favorito? Oh, it's okay. Uh, I like, I like uh, weather cool. I like cold weather. Cool, cool or cold? Cool. Cool, okay. I like cool weather. Excellent. Thank you for your answer. By the way, guys, what are the four seasons of the year? Do you remember about this? Four seasons of the year. We have four seasons. Which are they? Do you remember that? Seasons. The four seasons of the year. Which are they? Do you remember? Winter, winter, spring, uh, summer, and autumn. Autumn, autumn, I don't remember. Okay, autumn, autumn, or you can say fall, but it has two names. Excellent. So we have winter, spring, summer, autumn, and fall. What is the weather like in winter in El Salvador? What is the weather like in winter in El Salvador? It's very rainy. Yes, oh. it's very right rainy. Now the weather is very rainy. Yes, you are right. Rainy. rainy. It's rainy tonight. Thank you. What about summer? What's the weather like in summer in El Salvador? It's very sunny. It's very and warm. Yes, it's sunny and warm. And sometimes very hot too, right? Sometimes it is very hot. So thank you so much. Then this was the first listening. Let's go over the name. This may is it. I can see that you remember the fourth season of the year. That is great. So let's go with the second exercise. Completing the conversation. Can you help me please to complete this? Complete the following conversation. You need to finish up the W question work according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. And it is right. Let's see number one. How? What's the often. How often, often do you how work? Often do you out? work out? Every day. I'm a real fitness fitness freak. Freak, sorry, fitness freak. The second one, how? How long? Well, how well? How well? Okay, excellent. How well? The next, how well do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. How well do you speak English? You say about average, but I'm getting better and better. Third one, how? How long do you spend at the gym? 
at the gym. So you say, how long do you spend at the gym? It's about time, right? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasas en el gimnasio? Just 30 minutes a day. Who has the time? ¿Quién lleva la cuenta de eso? Just 30 minutes a day. The next. How are you at soccer? How good, how are, good you are you at soccer? soccer? Okay, how good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Now the question is for you. How often do you work out? How often do you exercise? You say every day, every month, always, never, sometimes, usually. So in this part, we need to use the frequency adverbs and also frequency, frequency phrases, right? How often do you work out? Let's see. Let's start with Edwin Antonio. How often do you work out? Hello, Edwin. How often do you exercise? Any volunteer to answer the first question? On weekends. Okay, very good to say every weekend. Every weekend, perfect. How well do you play tennis? Let's see, Jennifer Osorio. How well do you play tennis? I'm really bad in the play tennis. Okay, so uh, not very well. Thank you. I'm not very well play tennis. Okay, thank you so much. How long do you spend at the gym, Alexis? How long do you spend at the gym? I spend about one hour per day. Okay, excellent. So one hour per day. That's great. You must be really fitness. And the last one, how good are you at soccer, Osmin? I never play soccer. Ah, okay. Sure. Then you say not so good. Not so good. Okay, nice. Then let's go with the second part of this exercise. Complete the conversation, choose the correct password of the verb given in parentheses. The first one, did you, did you? Stay home last night. First or second option? First option, stay. Okay, thank you. Stay, thank you so much, Samuel Isaac. The next, what did you did or do? do? What do you do? What did you do? Thank you. Number three, I go went, I went. went. I went dancing at the new club on A Street. Thank you so much. This is the next one, number four. Oh, really? Yes, we. Yes, had, we had. We had. A great time. A great, a great time. Had. Had. Thank you. Where? Where were you? Thank you. Where were you? I was in the laundromat. I was in the laundromat. In the last one, having spent, we we spend it or spend. Spend. Spent. The second option. The second option. Okay, let's click on this. Okay, perfect. You have a perfect score in this part. Then we have the third exercise. Teníamos el tercer ejercicio. I have to answer here. Had, where, was, and Spain. Thank you, Samuel Isaac. Yes, you have the right answer. The, choose the correct answer. Excuse me, is there a gas station in here? Yes, there is, wow. there is. Any one or one? Can you say one? one. one. How, how many, many. Of you? How many? How many hotels many. are in this neighborhood? There are a little a and few. much of you. A few. Okay, very good. 
Let's go with number four. Is there much? Much. For one? Much. Another reason? Any. Any. Another reason? Any. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. Perfect is four in this part two. Then we have, let's see. We have already completed this exercise. We did it. Okay, some classes before this one. We discussed this part, right? Because some of you has some problem with this. And the final exercise in the meter exam was the reading. Was the reading part. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. Before to go to the reading, I want to send the link for the meeting to your classmate. But give me a second. I'm going to look for this. the link is give me a second okay I have it okay maybe they can Okay, let's continue with the reading part. Do you have any question in this reading? Thank you, Samalisa, for your answer again. Okay, let's come back to the reading part in the meter exam. Do you have any question? Okay, it's a fair pet. Berkeley is a great city. I really like it here. There is always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee in the evening. And there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shop and restaurant, and it's a great city for jogging or in line skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown. To have lunch and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sundays, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. Any question? New vocabulary in this small reading? Number one is true. Okay, she walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class. She say it's true. She meets her friends for coffee in the evening. False. True or false? false. It's true. False. false. Number two, false. Number two is false. Yes, it's true. It's false. Ah, okay. Let because me she because in the evening, uh, she number three is false. with friends normally. Yes, yes. Oh, it's yes, true. Okay, get my second. Okay, just give me a second. Somebody need the link. 
Okay. Somebody can share the link of the class in the WhatsApp group, please. Tell me, let's meet it. Let me see, I have it. Okay, ya se te conego en este right link. Okay, thank you so much, guys. So let's continue with the class. Sorry for this inconvenience. Okay, let's finish with the reading part. Then it was true or false? Number three is false. Oh, the second one. If you met your friends for coffee in the evening, the it's false, second right? One is true. False. It's she it's met false. her friend for coffee in the afternoon, it says. It says in the afternoon. That's why it's false, I guess. She sometimes um, dance to live music. True or false? False. 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 She enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. True. 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 She yeah. doesn't like in line skating. False. 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 She is false, right? She is learning, right? Oh. Like it's getting, and she's getting better and better. So false. She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturday. It's true. It's true. true. It's true. true. And again. True. Yes, it's true. Number six. And the last one is false picture. False. Number seven. False. False. Number seven is false. false. Number eight. It's true. true. She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. Let's see. Um, okay, that's great. And that was the meter exam. So I hope all of you have perfect score in this, right? If you have a problem with some exercise, just let me know and I'm going to help you, okay? That was the meter exam. Now let's continue with the class. We are going to have a review, right? We are going to have a lot of speaking activities. So let's start with this. Meter exam review. So let's see. Welcome to the class number eight. And let's start with this uh, lesson objective. In this section, students are going to use the grammatical structure and vocabulary learned in the first three sections to share their ideas with their classmates in a small conversation. So today we're going to speak with our classmates a lot. Okay? So let's go. Let's start with this part. I have this equation. How often do you and do you ever? Talking about frequency, right? And then to answer this question, we have frequency adverb and time expression. Frequency adverbs like always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Time expression like every day, once a week, twice a month, twice a month, three times a year and often or much. Okay. So how often do you? Any volunteer to ask a question? Using this, how often do you? How often do you practice English? Okay, excellent question. Carlos Vladimir, how often do you practice English? I practice every day, teacher. 
Okay, excellent. We say, I practice English every day. I practice English every day. Um, okay, Chrissy, don't worry. I'm going to change your name in a moment. Just don't worry, Chrissy. Okay, let's go with the next one. Any other volunteer? How often do you? How often do you download music, for example? How often do you download music for an internet? How often do you play soccer? Thank you, Carlos Vladimir. How often do you play soccer? Any volunteer to answer Carlos' question? I never play soccer. I never play soccer. Thank you so much. Any other question? Perfect answer. Perfect question. Perfect answer. Francisco? I sometimes don't love music. Okay, perfect. I sometimes download music. Perfect answer too. Thank you. Any other question? How often do you? Come on, do it. Practice telling me some questions. How often do you go to the movies? Excellent question. How often do you go to the movies, guys? I go to the movies once a week. Perfect answer too. I go to the movies once a week. Thank you. Any other question? Ask question. Come on, practice. How often do you go to the dentist? How often do you go to the dentist? Any volunteer to answer the question? I go to the dentist once a month. Thank you, Carlos. Excellent answer. Any other answer? Every month. Every month. Jami, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. How often do you walk with your pets? How often do you walk with your pets? Ah, okay. How dogs? often do you walk pets? with your dog? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How often do you yes. walk with your dog? How often do you walk your dog? ¿Con qué frecuencia saca a pasear a su perrito? Once a day. I usually walk with Nachito every day. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alexis. How often, how, how often do you go to the beach? Perfect. Okay, perfect. Huh? Perfect question, sorry. How often do you go to the beach? Anyone here? Three, I go five, to four, the beach four times a year. Times a year. <laughs> okay, four times a year. That's great. Nice. Who go to the beach more than four times? Six times, 10 times a year? Uh, you just Six spend a lot of money. Year with my co-workers. Ah, that's great. It's, it's fantastic. Yes, it is. The beach is fantastic. It's amazing. Okay, now we have the other question. Do you ever? Do you ever? Do you remember this? Alguna vez? Do, do you, you ever, ever see the rain? <laughs> okay, do you ever see the rain? It's like a song name. Do you ever see the rain? Yes, it's a sign. It's a song. It's a song, it's, right? It's do you song. ever yes. see the rain? Then you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. I never see the rain. Do you ever cook? Do you ever cook? Yes, I do. Every day. Okay, perfect. Yes, I do. I cook every day. Thank you. Do you ever wash your cloth? Do you ever wash your cloth? Yes, I do. Three times a week. Perfect answer. Thank you. Uh, do you ever clean your room? 
Yes, I do. Every day I change my phone. Okay, now this is important. Do you ever make your bed? Yes, I do. Every day I make my bed. Okay, great answer. Thank you. So, how often and do you ever? Then let's go with the next practice. So, we are going to practice this. How long? Let, oh, let me see. How long do you spend watching movies in a week? How long do you spend watching movies? How Maybe long? Maybe four or six hours okay. in the weekend. Okay, that's great. Four or six hours. How long do you spend listening to music? You say, I listen to music for hours, three hours a day, eh, 20 hours a week. How long? Two hours a day. Two hours a day listening to music. Any other answer? Every, How long? Day, listen to, every day listen to music. Okay, very good. I listen to music every day. How long do you spend using your cell phone a day? How long do you Usually, spend it? Every okay. day. Every, every day, day I, all day, I use my cell phones. Ah, okay. So it says how long? Uh, let's see, hours, minutes. How long do you spend using your cell phone? 10 hours a day? 5 hours? 12 hours a day is for well, my job. Ah, okay. Great. Yes, because uh, I why uh, how do you say message? Message. Uh, I send messages for the groups, for my boss, for Guatemala, uh, etc. Is is part of my job every day. Okay, that's great. So your cell phone is a tool for your work. Perfect. That's great. Thank you for your ideas. Now let's see. Take a screenshot of this because you are going to answer this question with your classmate. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and you are going to ask this question to your classmate. So I want to know how long do you spend doing these activities? Watching movies, listening to music, using your cell phone, watching TV, working, relaxing, resting, reading a book, reading a book, studying, cooking, talking with your family. How long do you spend? So let me know if you're ready, please. Take note or take a screenshot. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So let's practice with your classmate. I'm going to make the small groups right now. In the break up rooms, we are 16, so we can go three. Here we go. Don't forget about the question, how long do you, how long do you? And then you have to answer with time, right? an hour, two hours, three hours, okay, here we go. Practice with your classmates, you are going to have five minutes to complete this.
Karen and Stephanie, personal night. Do you have a problem to enter into the breakup room? Can I help you with something? Karen and Stephanie, personal night. Samuel, I know that you are still working. So it's okay. Karen, Harrison, can I help you? Teacher, estoy teniendo problemas con mi conexión. Me está lloviendo aquí, me saca, me mete a Mario Castro. Um, ok, Alma Castro. Están I en understand. grupo, ¿verdad? Yes, but we can, uh, we can practice over here. If you can enter the breakout room, don't worry. They are discussing this question. The means of okay. Ok, do you remember about the question, how long do you? Let's see, for example, how long do you watch? How long do you spend watching movies? Okay. Eh, lo que están haciendo es haciendo estas preguntas. Así ah, es. Pregun preguntas y respuestas. We can practice here, right? You can ask oh. me some of this question and I can ask you some to you too. No problem. Ah, okay. How long do you spend least, uh, working? Oh, no, no, I spend working. No. Yes, how long do you spend working? Okay. Being, okay, I spend working eight hours a day. What okay. about you? Uh, I, I work in and spend 10 hours uh, all day. No. Okay, no, 10 no. hours. That is a lot of time, right? Yeah, how long do you spend relaxing? Uh, <laughs> uh, I am, bueno, I am, I am relaxing uh, only weekend. Okay, only on, only during the weekend. Okay. No, no, only, no, no. <laughs> Weekend, no, fin de semana es, sí, weekend, no. Weekend, yes, you are right. Okay. Then you say, okay. I spend two hours relaxing mm. on weekends. Nice. Okay. How long do you spend uh, studying? Uh, I study... I study, do you spend, no, I study, ¿cómo tendría que form, formarla aquí, perdón? I spend three hours I studying, I spend five hours studying. Ok. I, Hello. Bueno, I spend eh, two hours eh, de studying. Studying, ok. O simplemente poder responder con el tiempo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, how long do you spend watching TV? Say five hours. I spend five hours. Ah, uh, ok. How ah, pues, I spend one hour. Watching TV, ok. Watching TV. Solo la novela. <laughs> Solo la serie. <laughs> ah, okay, great. Uh, cooking. How long do you spend cooking? Uh, wow. I am spend cooking three hours. 
no sé, la mañana, en la, bueno, en la noche más que todo y en la mañana. Ok, so three hours. I spent cooking three hours. El año va a solo I spent, I spent cooking okay. three hours. Thank you. Ok. Ok. Let me see. Ok, I still have two minutes to complete the exercise. Can you ask some questions to Karen Stephanie? Hello, Karen Stephanie. Can you listen up? Hi, me escucha. Hello, Karen Stephanie. Hola. Tell me, how long do you spend reading a book? Karen? Yeah. Hello, Karen. How long do you spend reading a book? Two hours, one hour. I spend... I spend very often. Ah, okay. I read a book very often. Okay, this question has to do with time. ¿Cuántas horas o cuántos minutos pasa haciendo esa actividad? How long? How long do you spend reading a book? Mm -hmm. Karen, two hours, one hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes. Three hours. Three hours. Okay, that's great. How long do you spend watching movies? Mm, I don't know. It's <laughs> okay, that's great. No problem. Solo libro. Ah, great. How, <laughs> how long do you spend uh, cooking? How long do you spend uh, cooking? Usually. Okay, I usually. Spend usually. I usually spend. Sería usually spend. Yes, I usually oh, oh, spend. Oh, spend usually. Ah. I usually spend y las horas de gasta cocinando. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice como en cada tiempo de, de, de comida? Ok, I spend <laughs> one hour every meal. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Usualmente gasto una hora. Hour? Every meal. Every meal. Mm -hmm. Something like this one. I usually spend one hour every meal. This is the sentence. I usually spend one hour every meal. Okay, let me come back to the class and to the main class. I usually spend one hour every minute. Okay, thank you. Let me finish the breakout rooms. Hello, Kelsona Donai, how was your practice? Could you practice with your classmates? Okay, Gerson. Probably it is because it's raining, right? The internet connection is a little bit slow tonight. Hello, Francisco, Ana. How was your practice? Alexis, did you finish practicing with your classmates? Yes, we finished. Yes, we finished. Okay, that's great. So let's go with the next. Let's continue with the class. After this question, we are going to do the next. We have already finished discussing these questions. Then tell your classmates about your last birthday celebration. So you have to speak about your last birthday celebration. Tell your partners about your Wednesday's activities. So yesterday activities, what did you do yesterday? Tell your friends about your last vacation. You can choose uh, one of these topics to speak with your classmates. 
The first one is tell your classmate about your last birthday celebration. Tell your partners about your Wednesday activities. It means yesterday, right? What did you do yesterday? Tell your friends about your last vacation. What did you do last vacation? I have an example here for you. For the first topic, I have this one. Dun, 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 dun. Any volunteer to read this paragraph? Who wants any volunteer? Me, Ingrid. Thank you, Ingrid. Me, Ingrid, teacher. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, and let's listen, Ingrid, first. Okay. My last birthday was on January 31st, 2022, when I was going to be 32 years old. That was a very special day. I woke up early at 6.30 m.m. because my family sent a special song for me. They gave me some gift. Also, they helped me and wish me a great birthday. At night, my friends invite me for a dinner. If I was very happy. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation, Ingrid. I really like it. Thank you. So, look at this paragraph. De esta manera, vamos a hablar de nuestro último cumpleaños. ¿Qué pasó su último cumpleaños? Can you say, my last birthday was on January 31st, 2022 when I was going to be 32 years old. Then you start saying some sentences like, that was a very special day. I woke up early at 6.30 a.m. because my family sent a special song for me. They gave me some gift. En esta parte usted puede mencionar que le dieron, but then so you say, I, I have got a car, I have got a new cell phone, I have got a dress. Also, they helped me and wish me a great birthday. At night, my friends invited me for a dinner. I was very happy. So about your last birthday. Jamie, do you have a question? Yes, teacher, solo una observación. Uh -huh. Este, porque muchos eh, nos conectamos por el teléfono uh, para que por favor pudieran eh, compart quedar compartidas las preguntas de, de, de lo que se nos va, de lo que vamos a compartir en las salas. Okay. Si se pudiera, teacher. Ok, I can try, I can try. If no, I'm going to paste on the chat. I can see that you have access to the chat on the breakout room. Ok, thank you so much. That is a good observation. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your comment, Yami. Then, Thank you, teacher. Then, this is about your last birthday. Then, let's go with this. My last vacation. My last vacation. I need a volunteer to read this paragraph. Who wants, who wants to read? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, I have Carlos, Crisia, and Francisco. Ladies first, can you please start, Crisia? Yes. My last vacation was great. I had a lot of funny activities that I enjoyed. I also met some funny new friends. And we went to the beach, to the beach and enjoyed the sunshine and swam in the ocean. We enjoyed camping and we sat by the fire, ate some snacks, and told a lot of scary stories. Thank you so much, Christia. Excellent. Any new vocabulary in this small paragraph? New vocabulary? Okay, great. Then, excuse me. Teacher, ¿qué significa sunshine? Sunshine. Sunshine. Uh -huh. sunshine. Uh -huh. We enjoy the sunshine. Es el brillo del sol. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Any other question? Repeat, please, teacher. Sunshine. 
Ok, brillo solar, el brillo del sol. That is the meaning of sunshine. Disfrutamos del sol brillante y nadamos en el ocean. It was fun in the ocean. Any other question in this part? Teacher, is for the sunshine, swam. Swam is the path of swim. Is the simple path of the very swim. Nadar. Ah, thank you. Y nadamos en el océano. Ok, if you don't have any other questions, let me send Carlos Vladimir, please. Can you read the paragraph? Ok. Um, my last question was great. I had a lot of funny activities. I, I enjoy it. I also met some funny new friends. And we went to the beach, uh, enjoyed the sunshine, and swam in the ocean. We enjoyed camping, and we sat beat the fires. Had some snacks and told a lot of story stories. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, we are going to listen to Francisco in the next paragraph. Thank you so much for this part. So my last vacation, so you can use the simple path to talk about your last vacation. Period. What did you do last vacation? Then let's go with the next. Okay, so it's about yesterday activities. What did you do yesterday or your Wednesday activities? Francisco, can you please read the paragraph? Uh, okay, teacher. I woke up early. I had a delicious breakfast. I drank a big cup of coffee. I went to work. I worked the whole day. In the evening, I was so tired. I cooked the dinner. I ate pupusas. They were so tasty. At 8 p.m., uh, I had my English class. I saw some exercise on the platform of English Corporativo and I went to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, excellent, thank you so much. So yesterday activity, I woke up early, I have a delicious breakfast, I drank a big cup of coffee, I went to work, I worked the whole day in the evening, I was so tired, I cooked, the dinner, I ate pupusas, they were so tasty. At 8 p.m., I had my English class. I sold some exercises on the platform of English Corporativo and I went to bed at 11 o'clock p.m. So, you are telling what did you do yesterday, right? So, sentence by sentence, you are not reading what happened yesterday. So we are going to prepare then this. Is it okay if we do this the next Monday? So let's prepare with this. Choose one of these when in write a paragraph like the examples. Let's see, for example, Ingrid Vanessa, which one will we choose? Which one will you choose? Uh, tell your friends about your last vacation. Okay, that's great. Hosman, which one will you choose? You have to pick at one, one topic. Osmin, which one will you choose? Repeat, please, teacher. Okay, you have to choose one of these topics. Tell your classmate about your last birthday celebration. Tell your partners about your Wednesday activities. And tell your friends about your last vacation. For next Monday, you have to be prepared. Like a paragraph like this one. So you have to write it up. And you are going to share with your classmate. 
then which one do you choose? Which one do you choose? While it's okay. Uh, my vacation. Okay, your vacation. Well, you will have time, right? You will have time. I'm going to share this uh, picture with you in the WhatsApp group. So you are going to have time to choose one. And we are going to share that on Monday with your classmate. Is it okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Then the last question for tonight as to finish the class, describe your neighborhood. What is there in your neighborhood? What isn't there in your neighborhood? Any volunteer who wants to describe his or her neighborhood? There is, there are, there is a church, there are three schools, there is a bakery, there is a clinic, there are uh, three soccer fields, there are two grocery stores, there is a supermarket. So who wants, who wants to describe? There is a, a lot of uh, schools. Okay. There, there are. Bueno, sería there are, there are, oh. pero la pregunta es de con what is, what is there in your neighborhood? Sería there, there is a lot of schools, if correct. No, ya en ese caso sería there are, there are a there are. lot of schools. There are a lot of schools. But is, the question is when ah, sí. is what is? Oh, and this is a general question. Where is there in your neighborhood? Que hay en su vecindario? Then you start describing. And you already know, right? So if it is singular, you use there is. If it is plural, you say there are, right? In su caso, sería there are. Or we can change the question too. What are there in your neighborhood? Y decimos solo en plural las cosas que hay más de dos. Okay, but this, okay, is a, okay. this is a general question. What is that in your neighborhood? Any volunteer to describe his or her neighborhood? In my neighborhood, is there one school? And there are three uh, drugstores. And... There is one supermarket. Excellent description. Thank you so much. Okay. What isn't there in your neighborhood, Jennifer? Que no hay en su vecindario? In my, in my neighborhood, there isn't a park. Okay. There is a parking lot. Yes. Oh, a park, a park. Okay. A park, park. There is an a park. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any volunteer? One more, please. Just one. Who wants to try? Describe your neighborhood. What is there in your neighborhood? The neighborhood. The, the, there are a church. Okay, uh, there are there are how many church? There are a uh, pharmacy. Oh, there is a pharmacy. There is a pharmacy. Um, how do you say Campo de Fútbol? Can you please repeat? Campo de Fútbol? Oh, soccer field. How do you field. say Campo de... soccer? soccer yes. Okay, there, there, there is, is a, a soccer, soccer field. field. Uh, only. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much, Carlos Vladimir. The last one, just one. Only man, tell me what is there in your neighborhood? In, in my neighborhood, isn't any hospital, but uh, there is a school near my house. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent sentences. Thank you very much, guys, for your help. We are going to stop the class here. Don't forget the activity for Monday. You have to prepare your topic, right? Your vacation, what did you do yesterday, or your last birthday.
comments. If you don't have any other question. Okay, if you haven't finished the section number three and the midterm exam, you can complete that after the class, right? Remember that on Friday, the ESA for cake to work. So don't forget about that, please. Thank you so much for being here with me, guys. It has been a pleasure. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.